Hey everyone, welcome back to another Vietnam vlog. Today I'm taking you with me to one of Vietnam's most iconic attractions, Sun World Bona Hills. Come along as I show you everything included with my Kluke ticket. Just 30 kilometers from the city center, Bona Hills is a full day escape filled with stunning landscapes, enchanting cable car rides, and even a touch of European charm right here in Vietnam. From the breathtaking Golden Bridge to the charming French village, we're covering it all. Now without further delay, let's get this vlog started. So finally the sun is peeking through the cloudy skies. This is the view from up here on the 19th floor. There's the Dragon Bridge. Guys, this is breakfast for day three. I have salad with all the fixings. Carrots, corn, regular lettuce with a balsamic vinaigrette. We have dragon fruit, watermelon, got some cheese. And I have two pieces of chocolate croissant. They look a bit to over to well I over toasted them then I have a quadruple shot of espresso and I also have some detox water so that's breakfast for day three it's 7 19 a.m. right now and today I'm going to Bona Hills all right guys so today we are starting our trip I'm going to get picked up by the tour guide by 8 o'clock my tour guide just picked me up on the bus right now it is 8 25 and we're about to head up to Bona is how the bus looks and there's the tour guide good morning everyone okay uh my name is t from here to banner hill it takes us around 40 minutes the cable car at the banner hill is the one of the longest cable car system in the world today we are going to take two cable car system the first one when we arrive on the ground the first station takes us around 15 minutes 15 minutes from the bottom to the middle of the mountain at the middle of the mountain, we will visit the Golden Hand Bridge, the symbol of the Banner Hill. And then we visit the Flower Garden. Flower Garden, okay? We don't want to spend there around one hour. And then we come back to the station, to make the trip to the station, and we take another cable car. Only takes us around two minutes more. Two minutes more from the middle to the top of the mountain. So at the top of the mountain, we're going to have lunch. After lunch, you have your own free time to visit the French village and the Fantasy Park. Fantasy Park is indoor house, indoor indoor games activities, okay? So in your ticket, around 75, 70% of the games there are included in your ticket, okay? I, that means that you don't have to pay to play games, okay? But if you play any game that you can win a reward, for example, you win a bear, you win you win a rabbit, you win a, some kind like that, you pay. But any games that you don't win a reward is free, okay? So there are in our ticket included everything in the Banner Hills except for three places. First is the wine cellar. Wine cellar built by the French people. The French people built wine cellar hundred years ago to store their wine. Store their wine. Okay, you know wine? Okay. And second place is the wax Museum. Wax Museum. The beer start to make from wax, from Donald Trump, from Biden, from um uh, Mr. Bean and somewhere like that, okay? And the last one is Alpine Coaster. For each place, the ticket for one person is $100,000. $100,000. Okay, if you want to take a look or go inside, you can pay money. Pay $100,000 for buy the ticket there, okay? So uh, we shoot back around 3 p.m. 3 p.m. because you know the cable car closed at 5 p.m. We will return to the city around 5 p.m., okay? So about now, the, the name banana comes from the banana, okay? So you know, in the, the banana hills were not founded by Vietnamese people, but they were founded, it was founded by the French people, French people, okay? So do you know three big countries that were fought in the history, in the past? First is uh, America, America, second, French, and the last one, third, is China, okay? So in the French war, around in 1895, 1895 when the french people do you know they live in the city they live in that city and you know in the summertime the temperature the temperature down there is quite high around 35 to 37 celsius degrees so it's very hot so the high ranking official is the french army they want to find a place for relaxation okay so they send the soldiers all around the place and to find and when they found bana that area was full with natural monkey and banana trees Banana trees, that wine, they call it Bana. So right now we still use the name, that French people name, Bana Hills, okay? 
Uh, so right now, of course, the French people, they come there and they build the hotels, the restaurants, and the wine cellar. Let's go, let's go. Okay, here we are, Vana. This is the entrance. As you can see, all the buses are here now. Those are the cable cars all the way up top. Right. I have my ticket. So this ticket does not include lunch. I purchased this through Coop for about $45. I opted out for the lunch because since I'm vegetarian, I saw a blogger who only ate pasta and french fries. Oh, it's sunny over here. So that's the weather. So it's foggy up there. It's quite foggy. That's okay. This is how it looks. It's crowded today? Yeah, it's crowded. Um, we're queuing right now to get to the cable cars. So we're still waiting. Well, look at the view. Wow, look at that. So that's where we're gonna ride. Cable car up. Hi. Xin chào. Xin chào. Where are you from? I'm from New York City. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're about to get into this cable car right now. Uh, and it's going to be 15 minutes to get up to the first level. Okay, we're gonna get in this one, number 59. So it is so, very foggy up here. Can't really see anything. Made it. Whoa, it's cold up here. Welcome to French Village. We visit here the Go Flower Garden and the Go to Hand Bridge for one hour. Right now we're gonna take a train. The train here from here to the Flower Garden. So we're gonna take this train up. It takes two minutes to reach the Flower Garden. Okay, we're going up. Okay. 11.45. Let's explore the flower garden. This is how it looks here. We made it here. Let's check out what's down here. I decided to leave the whole crowd and I'm just exploring myself. I found this looks like a bridge. Everybody is up top up there, so I decided to come down here. This is the bridge that I found. And that's where we were up there. Look at a peacock. It's beautiful. Look at the fog. I saw a koi fish. Okay, let's go down this way. Oh wow, do you see that? Look over there, you can't really see it. There we go. 
The Lin Ong Pagoda is one of the most spiritual and significant attractions at Bonner Hills. Standing at 27 meters tall, the white marble Buddha statue is hard to miss. The statue faces eastward towards Da Nang City, symbolizing the Buddha's watchful protection and blessings over the area. Inside the pagoda, visitors will find a peaceful sanctuary filled with incense, statues, and murals depicting stories from Buddhist teachings. The pagoda's elevated location also gives it a direct view of the city below, creating a symbolic connection between heaven and earth. So they have fairies here, looks like a ballerina up there. So they have these fairies, I think it's like a fairy garden. Tulip Angel. Of course, everybody wants to take a picture with the main attraction. So this angel is Hydrangea Angel. They have this mythology garden that I stumbled upon. And we just came from there, all the way down there. Now we made it here. Let's go inside. It's beautiful, but it's very packed. So this is the wine cellar. I think this is what he was talking about. So this is an attraction that you have to pay for if you want to go in there and drink wine. Let's go back up the hill. We're making good timing. 11.08. So we went down that way. Now let's go this way. I just saw the tour guide. And now you said go this way. See their food. It's not too bad. They had some vegetarian. This is how it looks. They only have hot dogs, sausage. And this is a hundred. You found this? Thank you so much. This is a donut. This coconut inside. And that's how the final product looks. And this is 50, so like two dollars for two pieces, so a dollar a piece. There's a souvenir shop. And then now we're gonna go see the golden hands. The cable car is going to take us to the top, but we're not going to go there yet. We're trying to get on that bridge. Okay, let's walk in this bridge. It's beautiful. Very packed, but it's gorgeous. This is it. This is what we paid for. Well, this is the view from up here. It's obviously foggy, but it's still nice. Kind of gives this mystical feel. It's a second hand. I'm up close with the hand. Over this hand doesn't have a lot of people around. Well, right there. But well, majority of them are usually covering it. So here it goes. Too bad I can't touch it. Look at that. This is how packed it gets. And the sun's coming out. And this is the second hand. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna walk back. I'm gonna look for a tour guide. I actually have 20 minutes to spare, so maybe I can find something to eat. I'm a little hungry. As you can see, I only had a light breakfast. Just really fruit and salad, a couple croissants. You see the cable cars from up here? That's what we took. So everyone seems to be touching. Is it good luck if you touch it? Well, there we go. We get some good luck. So I was able to find an area right here where you can get the picture. This is where we're gonna meet the guide. So this is how it looks. As you can see, there's a lot of people here, but it's actually moving pretty quickly. We're going up now to the cable car this direction. Okay, we're gonna go up. Okay, this is for the second part. Okay, we're going up. Look at how they launch you though. Okay, let's go. Whoa. 
That's fast. You can't see anything from up here. It's all fog. This is how it looks here. Okay, so we have a total of three hours up here, French Village, and two other places that we could just wander around and do whatever we please. Okay, there's our tour guide with the red flag. It is cold up here. <laughs> Is your tour guide? I will send you much when they open, when okay. the weather gets better in the afternoon. The okay. ticket for that is around um, 70,000 for one person. 70,000 for one person and the rise is about five minutes. Uh, when you finish the uh, French village, you may go there's a door to the fantasy park that way. So when you come finish, you go back this way to the souvenir shop this way at 3.15. 3.15, okay? So right now, Thank you. I see okay. you later. Okay. I'm walking towards the French Village since I don't have a ticket to the buffet, but that's what I wanted. Bread and some coffee would be great right now. This is the starting point of the French Village. Let's see what they have. Oh look, so they have grilled meats. Oh look, potatoes. I love potatoes. Here's an idea of the prices. how much it costs. Then they have different types of juice. There's also a burger spot here. I wonder if they have vegetarian burger. Doesn't look like it. So here we go, French Village. This is the map. Hey, look how packed it is. We made it guys, we made it to Sun World. We found another angel. Let's see, this one is the Sunflower Angel. Look at all these tulips. This is how it looks out here. So I asked this guy to help me out. He's going to show me where to get vegetarian food. Okay, so that guy was trying to take me to a restaurant that's like 500000 I just passed on it. Even though that's like, I think, $20, I could have just got the buffet then. I just want something small, like, like I said, some bread and coffee, and that's fine to hold me over for the next three hours. So here we are at the church. Keep walking down this way. There's a beer plaza, mountain base, and the Eagle's Bear. I'm guessing this is where the beer is at. It's the beer plaza. These games you pay because you have the opportunity to win a prize. So let's look for the area where we could play games for free. We have a carousel there. Okay, we're at Medieval Fair. Let's see what's over here. Oh, this is a spiritual zone. Climb up there. Check out the spirituals, huh? Oh. 
We made it up here. Because we made it here to the Lentong Tower. So we could go further up there, but I'm not going to come up there. So this is the view. Okay, now we're heading to Fantasy Park. We're leaving the French Village. Do you see all this fog? We're gonna go inside Fantasy Park now. Fantasy Park is an indoor amusement park spanning three floors, packed with thrilling rides, arcade games, and family-friendly entertainment. Inspired by the adventure novels of Jules Verne, such as Journey to the Center of the Earth and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Fantasy Park creates an immersive experience that transports visitors to a world of excitement and discovery. Fantasy Park's arcade area is filled with a variety of engaging games, including prize-based options that give guests the chance to win fun rewards. For an additional fee, typically starting at 50,000 dong, visitors can test their skills and luck at a range of games. These games offer prizes such as plush toys, novelty items, and unique Bonner Hill souvenirs, adding an extra layer of excitement to the park experience. I've been walking around in here and I think this is mostly for kids. I mean, they have a few rides that I guess are for adults. So far it's been okay. I mean, I haven't really played anything. It's just nice actually to be inside. It's really cold outside. I wore shorts. Like I said in my previous vlogs, I did not expect for it to be cold. I will hang out in here for a bit. I still have an extra hour and 15 minutes until we meet up with the tour guide. So let's see what we can play here. I decided to pass on this ride just so that the kids can get on it. I don't think it makes sense for me to ride with Friday. It's mostly children. So let's go over here. They have a couple games. I guess I'll try that out. They have this car game here.
can see the whole bridge without being swarmed with a ton of people around it. The only downside to it is that it is $100 a night. That's my honest review of Bonneville's. You guys see that? Look at this fog. Cutting across French Village again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go meet up with the tour guide. Oh, okay, let's check out these stores. It's a souvenir shop. I like this, but I'm going to put the price $115. This one's nice too. $130. But for those who want t-shirts, look how much. $200,000. It's like almost $10. Instead of kids' t-shirts, $175. That's not it. This is what I need right now. Huh? <laughs> Golden Bridge. Now, forget your raincoat. They sell some here. They're 50000 so that's like $2. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this area right here. They have like these books. Look at that, the little prints. It's raining, guys. It is raining. Okay. We're heading back in. Yeah, okay. 50. That's not bad. I got to eat here. I didn't eat earlier. I didn't have any lunch. This is 60, so it's about a little over two dollars. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show it to you. Look at that cheese bowl. This tastes like a pancake with cheese inside. We're going to the other cable car because the one inside, there's so many people. So we're cutting across. We're taking this cable car back down. This one doesn't have a line. We're here at the cable cars. We're gonna head back down. We had to walk across the park, but it's fine because there's no line here. Do you see the rain on the cable cars? It's raining. So we're about to get launched into the abyss. Whoa. Going down. Thank you. Hey, we're finally done. More help. There is a five. Uh, five lines. Look at all the koi fish.
Alright, so it's officially done. We just finished Bonnet Hills. We're now getting to the bus and then we're going to head back. I'm going to get dropped off at my hotel. That's part of the round trip ticket. So they pick you up and they drop you off. I'm not quite sure if I'll be first or last, but it's okay. We're at 427, so apparently it takes 45 minutes to get down there. So maybe I'll reach here at 530. Hopefully earlier than that. I think it's the same bus that we took or been. A new brand new vlogger, Rich Rich. <laughs> so right now we're back for Anang City. So uh, today we take three different cable car system. The first one, like we take in the uh, in the morning from the bottom to the middle, and then we take a train. We take a train to, to see the Flower Garden and the Golden Hand Bridge. Uh, today is very crowded. Then we take another cable car from the bottom to the top of the mountain around one minute only. In the afternoon, we come back with another different cable car system. That's the longest cable car system in, in one of the, I'm not, I'm not saying the longest, but the one of the longest cable car system in the world. That cable car that we just uh, go down, went down, is a 5.2 kilometers long. 5.2 kilometers long, around 25 minutes, 25 minutes. The oldest cable car system was built in 2009. 2009. I hope that you have a wonderful time together, okay? So today the weather is not so good because it's still foggy. It's still foggy and sometimes it's a little, a little bit rain. Thank you all for joining me today. Thank you for your waiting time for the uh, pickup this morning and this afternoon. Thank you for, well, thank you for coming from Vietnam. We will see you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Happy New Year. Bye. All right, bye. Thanks for joining me on this amazing day trip to Sun World Bona Hills. I hope you enjoyed exploring every level with me, from the cable car views to the peaceful pagodas, the colorful flower gardens, and the lively fantasy world. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any upcoming travel adventures. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next vlog.